on this episode of Picker Road. We're doing Thrifting 101 here in Las Vegas. And later, you know we'll have something really good to eat. And we're going to take you along for the adventure. As always, join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. Okay, Will, let's go. Well, we're kind of starting in the wood and sign plaque section because it's very crowded in here today. Take a look at these. They are Cole and Mason. That sounds like a nice brand. Do they match? Because this one's so much taller and it's not marked. I think they're a marriage. I think they're a marriage. I don't think they belong together. But I wish them happiness in their lives. All right, let's see what we've got. Let's keep going here. We've got a little angel ornament, very lightweight, $3.99. What do I see back there? Look at that bear. Oh, wow. He's made of like, I don't know what he's made of. Somebody took a bear and like oh put soap on him or something. Yeah. Wow, that felt weird. I didn't expect that. What is this? This is a Half Moon Bay, California. It's a nice area. What is that supposed to be? A penguin? Uh, a party animal? Hmm. I don't know. I kind of like him. What do you think? Do you yeah, like him nice. or is he too rough? He's pretty funny. Yeah? All right, well, let's put them in the cart for right now. We have some fleur-de-lis hooks here. And it looks like we have some lanterns. And up here, we have a kind of a wood box. It doesn't do too much for me. So let's turn the corner here and see what we can find, Will. The holiday section. Um, looking to see if there's anything I want you to bring out. What are these? These are some sort of lighted trees. They don't look old or anything. So I think we're going to leave those. And let's see, what do we have here? We have a little toothpick holder and a glass candle holder. Looking through, see if we see anything in here of interest. What is that orange there? That's just a little candle. So we'll look at these little horses here. Is that a music box? Yeah, but they're all broken. Aww. Terribly broken, actually. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, let's I see, see it. Look, look, look. Oh, my goodness. He's a hoot. Unfortunately, he's a chipped hoot. Yeah. What's that Elvis Presley guitar I see there? Okay, let's see. It's a illuminated musical ornament. It plays I'll Be Home for Christmas. Hmm. Does it work? I don't know. It's got a little press me button on it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it does work. How much is that? Uh, it's $4.99. Ah, I think I'm going to grab that. Okay, I'll put it in the cart for you. Thank you. And what do we have here? We have a little box that's broken. I have a feeling I've seen that before. Let's see what we have up here. We have Aww, look at this face. bears. That little face there. Aww. That's a, like a baby planter. Mm -hmm. What are these here? Are those Funko snow globes? I... They look like it. I'm trying to see yeah. what the characters are. I don't know. They look like it's Funko. It's Harry Potter, I think. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's Luna Lovegood. And I think that's Snape and Dumbledore. I can't see who the fourth one is. And it's, I don't see any brand new. Do you think that's a good pickup? How much are they? Five ninety nine. dollars uh, It's like $1.25 each. I'd grab those. Okay, I'll take them. I shall take those, William. Let's see. What is this back here? 
This is a, uh, a some sort of trophy plate from 1992 in Pasadena. All right, let's keep moving on here. Yeah. Look at that. A little Odigiri marriage. It's missing its winder. Aww. It is sweet. If it had its winder, I'd be very interested in it probably. And what do we have here? We have a plastic horse. And we have. I need someone to love me. Need somebody to love. Find me somebody to love. Wolf. <laughs> Let's see. We have some painted stones. What's in that bag there? Which one? Oh, this one? Let's see. We have... Are those snowmen? Uh, no, they're all sorts of assorted figurines and a car wow. and birds. Talk about a grab bag. Right, but they're all really very basic quality, yeah. low quality, mm. composite kinds of guys. Look at this crystal here. What is this? This is very pretty. What is that? This is uh, Ashland. Ashland crystal it's only one I think we'll leave that what's down here anything see anything at all I see a marriage vase there but it looks very inexpensive and what is she she's broken unfortunately very broken everywhere let's Darn. put her down well look at this tray here William this is very pretty it's that Flor Florenza type toll but this one has a beautiful painted scene there's the gold on the back they usually say made in italy uh -huh, I can right see that. there that's a beauty i don't see any major chips they're kind of supposed to look a little bit aged that's very beautiful it's a nice find we're gonna grab that oh look at the sun up here oh he's heavy ah 3.99 Unfortunately, oh. he's missing some of his rhinestones. Just a rhinestone sun. I did it to myself on that one. We have a old looking pitcher. Oh, look at this vase. I like the engraving on that. It doesn't appear to be marked. It is, uh, unfortunately, it is bent. So we are going to leave that apple trivet that's bent up to this little serving piece threshold, threshold. 14.99 how much is it here uh, i don't so 5.99 there we go discount all right let's keep going and seeing what we can find this is a vintagey looking candle piece is that Honko? it looks like it is uh, upside down. upside down. There we go. Um, made in USA. It is Home Co. And I'm trying to see it. I don't see a I date. I see it. It's 1965. 1965. Look at that. It's definitely vintage. It's very old. It's very shabby chic, as they say. But um, I think I'm going to hold off on that for today. I'm going to pass. Let's see what else we have. We have a little metal lap tray. Okay, let's go in the vases. Look what we have here. We have some crackle glass right here. And down here, we have a little ginger jar type piece. And it's missing its lid. It's a pretty design. But it's missing its lid. So let's keep on moving and see what we can find here. Looking in the back, look at that gnome. He's cute. You want me to can reach you, yes, could you reach him? Is he heavy or oh, very he's light? Got a long stick on him. Uh, he's pretty lightweight. Just a fun little garden gnome. Mm, just a little bit long to try to ship. Oh, what's this? This is a looks like a studio pottery piece but no i think it might be production made i want to check these up here let's see There's which one do you see the two the one you're holding and the one next to it let's see mm. why not yeah it doesn't no. doesn't look old and no always gotta check though always why not that's why we bring them now this has got a lot of crazy on that looks old to me let's see if we've got 
Not any kind of marking on it. Doesn't look like yeah, it. there is something oh, right there. Is. Oh, I see that. Do you that see that? Too. I can't what does that say? May I, I? Yes, please. Well, we looked this up and we couldn't really find anything. It's very, it's very um, crazed and it definitely looks vintage. But I think I'm going to pass on it because it'd be really hard to shift. And I have a ton of large vases in the boutique. And next to it, I did see this. This is Turgla. It's fused glass. It's made in Turkey. It's a lovely little votive candle, or you could use this as a little jewelry dish. Many different uses. I like the color. It's very neutral and it's solid. So I think we're going to go ahead and pick this piece up. Look at these gold animal hooks. I find them fascinating. There's, uh, that looks like some sort of deer. Look at the horse, the ram, the giraffe, and you would just use them as hooks. A rhino. A rhino. I think they're fascinating. I'm going to go ahead and pick those up. We're in the mug section now. I'm trying to look quickly and see if we see anything of interest. You're always up high, William, so I'm you can looking, see. I'm looking for sure. What is that? That is just kind of like a breakup infinity. That's obviously something. Hmm. I say we go down. Let's see what's down at the bottom. All right, go ahead. A lot of teacups and saucers. Mm -hmm, I see that. What are these back here? Let's see what these are. Now, why do they have little holes in there? Is that for the mixing spoons? Maybe. There's a name under that. You want to just see what that is? Sure. It definitely looks like a, you know, regular production piece. Yeah. Um, Mr. Mr. Coffee. Okay. <laughs> ah. Is he related to Mr. T? Is he, is he related to vanilla ice mm. or is that iced tea? Mm. Okay. We could take this to who's on first. What is that one with the daisy right there? Can you see that? Nothing. Nothing special. Right. It's got some chips on it. All right. So is this shopping trip a slam dunk? Nailed it. What is this? These baggies are so full of different things. Oh, is that Lennox? Whoa, let's see. It is not Lennox. It is by Leftin. Leftin. So you've got little birds, little Leftin birds. Uh, oh, the wing is broken. There it is. There it is. I was starting to think that this might be something. We've got little mud men and a, a little dog, but unfortunately, when they put them in those kinds of bags, they very often get broken. So it's kind of hard to do that. <laughs> That's a Santa mug for sure. That reminds me of the Santa and Rudolph. Very much so. Sakura. Sakura. Put him back. Let's see. These are all just, you know, pretty much modern store pieces. But what is this? Let's see if we can get. Oh, Sango Splash China. I just thought that was a, a pretty little butter dish. It appears to have a, the glaze almost looks like a heart the way they did it it's quite heavy though actually i'm assuming that this came from somebody who was stationed at nellis look at that the u.s embassy baghdad iraq oh wow my goodness that traveled a long way that did oh look at this little creamer guy no markings just a little creamer oh, chip. where oh there it is all right, there's that one, and there's this other little creamer here. And that one is 
made in Germany. Mm. A little German creamer. A little rough spot right there. And it's not marked. But you know what? I have a lot of creamers. So I think I'm going to leave that for right now. I have a lot of creamers. Now what do we have here? We have another bag of items. I don't think anything to write home. Look at this. What is that? Is Zane from Zanesville. Zane, but Zanesville, Ohio is very famous for their pottery. Hmm. That's why I was interested in looking at that. How much is the bag? The bag is five ninety nine. I really like this little Zanesville souvenir shoe. I think it's very cool. It's so kitschy and vintagey, and I don't see any marks or chips on it. So we're going to go ahead and pick it up. Why not? Oh, look at this fish dish. I don't know why I'm attracted to fish dishes. We've got several already in the boutique. This one's unmarked. Let's see what we have up here. Petite. Little votive holders. Little dishes. Where's that made? Pampered chef. Let's look at this. Look at this little salt and peppers. Let's see. What else? What else? We have a little cup and saucer here. Uh, big chip. Under the tape. Under the table. Here's another one. I think they were made by an artist rather than a major big company. Well, we're going to check out the art. And this looks like it is a hand signed piece by, I don't even know how to pronounce that first name. The last name appears to be Mani. And the title of the piece is Working Together. Um, it was framed at Michael's. Do we want to look that artist up, Will? Let's take a look. So I looked up this artist and her actual name is Maxine Noel, but she signs uh, Ayoyan Mani uh, on her work. And we looked it up and her originals go for quite a lot of money, but the prints are pretty much not selling. So I am going to leave this behind for right now and hopefully someone will pick it up. It's, it's very beautifully done. This pretty little print. Uh, $2.99, little rough on the back though. So we're going to leave that. This one down here of the uh, hot air balloon. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's very pretty. Definitely a repop. Oh, very yes. Cool. Very French looking, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like French turn of the century. What do we have back there? That looks like an original, actually. Could you bring that up and let's see if there's any name on that? I can't tell from here. Maybe it's a print. There's some info on the back. No, it is a print. Oh, it's a print. It's a print. All right. Well. Oh, I like that it even says low value. Okay. Just, just making sure. Just making sure. Okay. Let's got a lot of large art here. All prints. And we have a cart coming out. Whoa. I don't know, but look at this. Look at this big piece here. That's amazing. That's epic. That's very epic. So they just wheeled this cart out. Let's see if there's anything on here. It's a pie plate. We have just kind of a little organizer and some flower, tin flower pots. What do we have in here? It looks like we have some children's toys and what is this this is zombies glow in the dark zombies any year on those they look old to me it's got a website on it no oh, so it's not that old and let's see what else okay we have stones pretty stones very heavy so in the cart they had this wilton mold for all sorts of fingers so we're going to be doing a halloween show so i think i'll go ahead and pick this up it is wilton 
Okay, well, we have some goodies in here. I think we did okay. Let's go get in line, Will. Well, we thought we'd give it a chance at another Goodwill and see what we could find. And oh, look at these Christmas balls in here, William. Some of those look kind of old fashioned. Mm -hmm. What's that say on that label there on that Which one? Which one? Right there. It says Made in China. China. <laughs> so not as old fashioned as you might think. Oh, look at her. She's like a hand crocheted piece, it looks like. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep moving and see what we find. I'm gonna go kind of fast over Christmas. This is the Christmas section. Is this when you get coal in your stocking? It is. You've been a very, very, very bad boy. And it looks like a cake topper for maybe a quinceaneros, because it's just a, a woman, not a bride and a groom. So let's see what else we have. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's all. Oh, broken. It's broken. I always like stained glass, mm -hmm. but that was terribly broken. Let's keep looking. Oh, look at her. She looks like a uh, figure. She's made in China, but she looks like, um, oh, I don't know what the figure even would be, but she was like a, a known style, but she's $10. That's just too much for that. Let's see what this is. That's a little clown figure with no branding on it. Ooh, September sapphire. That's kind of pretty. Isn't that kind of pretty? Oh, oh my goodness. It's lightweight. It's, it's a bank. It's a bank. $2.99. It's a bank. It? I think it's just like a piece of plastic. Hong Kong. So that's old. Hmm. I think we're going to pick that up. Even though it's plastic, I like it. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. There we go. Well, at least it'll be easy to ship, right? <laughs> oh, let's look down here. Look at these bird prints. Those are really pretty. Those are older. Let's see what that says. Um, hmm. Doesn't really give me a date, but it, it is very pretty. That one and that one. Does that one have a date on it? It. Uh, no. no, Memphis 10 framed in Memphis, Tennessee. Hmm. They could have belonged to Elvis. They could have. Oh, I think I'm going to leave them. They're awfully heavy to ship and that glass worries me. What else do we have here? We have some little Easter things. We're not doing that. And Oh, look at this. Oh, it's an hourglass inside of... Um, like water. So that's kind of fun. I've done well with these lately. So I think I'm going to pick that up. See what else they have. They have the Eiffel Tower wall decor. And don't forget where you came from, but never lose sight of where you are going. That is a very, very, very good saying. Oh, was this choking? Oh, happy anniversary. Gold, Chokin, The Art of Chokin. They want $5 and it's kind of, I don't know, not, got some, some scratches and wear on it. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave that. We have some very light plastic fruit, like weightless. Kind Less calories. Funny. Absolutely. We have some little, is that monkey pod? Wood, maybe. Oh, look at this big bunny. Let's see if we can move him a little bit. I don't see too much. It looks like an older bottle. What does it say on there? Wyeth. Let's take a minute and look that up. Well, this is an antique bottle uh, by Wyeth. Uh, they were brothers out of Philadelphia. And uh, I think I'm going to pick it up. It's I think a nice it's a glow. nice little color to it. And I think that it's a really nice little antique bottle. Let's keep going, Will. See what else we can see. Let's look. Let me see. Oh, look at that up there. Oh, it's got a chip. Oh, it's wood. Uh, Alexandria. Unfortunately, it's got a big chip out of it. What is this here? That is made in China. A little piece of a set. So we'll leave that. Let's see what else we can find. What's this? 
It's a fan. How'd you declare? I am not a fan of that fan. We have these little brass candlesticks. They're not marked. I think they're a little bit worn. Okay, let's check out the mugs and see if we can see anything. Oh, wow. Welcome to the gun show. Okay. Interesting. What else do we have? What is this? Circus, circus Circus. That's a vintage one. It is, but it's chipped on top, unfortunately. Let's see what else. Do you see anything down there? Not yet. Let's see this. What is that? Hmm. Okay. Let's look down here. I don't see anything that's jumping out at me. Let's move on right here. Let's see. Is this a... Nope. Handcrafted? Oh, it is. Maybe. Mount Rushmore, South Dakota. We had fun at Mount Rushmore. We did. Let's see what else we have. And keep on looking. Do you see anything down there? Let's keep on going. Let's see, we have a little. It's not marked. Little pieces. Okay. Oh, look at the chickens on there. Those are nice. Those are, would be nice in a country kitchen. I would like that. We have a little sleigh. That's a little candle holder. It's not marked. We'll take a quick peruse through the art here. What is this? Oh. Is that it, fused? It is a fused glass, and it is a leopard Beautiful in fused tiger. glass. I think that's really pretty. Imagine mm -hmm. that against a window. Absolutely. That'd be very pretty. Let's pick that up. Let's see what else. Look at this sparkly fish. That's a fancy fish. The, unfortunately, the frame is a little less than perfect. Let's see, what is this print here? Disco ball. It almost looks like our new globe in Vegas that we have. Let's see what we have here. It's like an older print. It absolutely is old. I don't think that it's... A, big seller though. So we can go on and look at the larger art here and see, wow, it's kind of been, there was an earthquake at Goodwill. Kind of been picked through a little bit. Oh, William, what is that textile back there? It's well framed. It's like an antique little handkerchief. It looks like, uh, $2.99. Well, that is certainly old, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think that it might be worth getting and just taking out of there. Yeah, I agree. Someone would like to maybe put that on a dresser. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get that. All right. All right. Well, we have we have a couple of things of, of interest in our cart. So why don't we check out? Well, after some really fun thrifting, there's nothing like grabbing our favorite donuts in Vegas. Pink box, of course. What are we gonna go for? I think dad likes the apple fritter. I know mom loves give me some more. And my favorite is the hockey puck, which comes with a Vegas Golden Knights poker chip. All right, well, we enjoy our treats. Let's recap today's finds.
Well, that was a fun day of thrifting. And we had a nice treat. Please like and subscribe to our channel. It'll help us grow and it's a lot of fun. Ring that little bell and you'll always know when our videos drop because we want you to join the journey.